Hi and welcome to Atlas Pits. Let's continue our journey to uncover various aspects of the nations across the globe. This is the sixth and the last chapter of the second series about the country Albania, which brings up another peculiar but fascinating fact about Albania's automobile culture. I hope you didn't miss the previous chapters unraveling some of the most interesting aspects about Albania and Afghanistan. And those who have, I have provided the link in the description box below. Do check it out. Mercedes-Benz is one of the leading luxury brands in the world, known for its style, its durability and its power. For many, it is a symbol of economic aspirations and success. But for Albanians, it is much more than just a luxury car brand. For them, it is a cultural icon. From the history where Albania had only 3000 cars due to the communist laws forbidding citizens to privately own a car to the present of registered and many unregistered cars Albanians remained highly loyal to this car brand and even today Mercedes-Benz cars are in high demand and Albanians see even buying a used Mercedes-Benz as a smart financial decision that can provide a good return on investments in the long term. It was reported that in 2022, Albania approximately had 212k Mercedes-Benz out of the 740k registered cars, accounting to about 30% of the country's total vehicles making Albania the country with the highest per capita ownership of Mercedes in the world. In the capital Tirana, the Mercedes is the favorite taxi, the preferred family car and the supreme status symbol. Even Mercedes-Benz thought that it would be a great idea to take the new GLE model for an off-road test in Albania, which proved to be a great marketing strategy for the company. It is quite fascinating that despite being one of Europe's poorest country with third of population jobless and with most of employed taking home only a few hundred dollars a month, how are these people able to afford this luxury car? It is reported, claimed and evident that most of these cars are stolen and not just few but approximately 80% of these Mercedes are stolen. But the numbers of Mercedes will inevitably shrink as the government has banned the sale of the older models and most citizens cannot afford the newer ones. However, the legacy will continue longer. With this, I end the video. Do like and share the video and mention your favorite car brands in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe to Atlas Bits if you wish to see more content like this. See you in the next series. Till then, have a good one. Cheers.